Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Boba7772, and today I am bringing you my first Halo 5 Guardians action figure of Series 1 Agent Spartan Locke. So without further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> Now, I'm really excited about this figure. Um, I went to Target like a week or so ago, and the figures I found were Master Chief, Agent Locke, Spartan Fred, Spartan Tanaka, and a Target exclusive uh, blue Spartan Centurion. And I thought that it was really cool, and I was really excited. Um, and then I was like, I'm going to come back next week and get them. Turns out they were sold out at both um, Targets. So. I was a bit upset, but they did have one lock left, so I went and grabbed him. Um, so the packaging for these figures, uh, it says Halo 5 Guardians on the top, which is really cool. We go down, we see Agent Lock inside, McFarlane Toys. He comes with a pistol and a battle rifle. Go down here, there's a nice picture of him, uh, Spartan Lock. It comes with a rec pack, 27 points of articulation. <clears throat> and then this part is awesome, just the other figures in Series 1. So we have a Spartan Athlon, which is in this yellow-brown color scheme. And then we have Spartan Fred, Spartan Kelly, uh, Master Chief, Spartan Locke, and Spartan Tanaka, which I think is awesome. So many cool figures. And then something I wasn't even suspecting was the exclusive figures. So we have another Spartan Athlon here, which looks to be a white and green color scheme. We have a Spartan Centurion. He is an exclusive at Target. We have a Spartan Technician, and we have... Uh, Spartan lock without the helmet. So what I'm assuming that these guys are exclusives at is um, this uh, Athlon is probably going to be an exclusive at either Walgreens or Toys R Us. The Centurion is at Target. Uh, the green one is either going to be Target or Toys R or I mean uh, Walgreens or Toys R Us. And then Agent Lock, I bet, is probably going to be the GameStop exclusive. Now that's just kind of me spitballing, but uh, yeah, I am going to be trying to pick up every figure from this wave, but at the very least, I'm going to be getting Fred, Kelly, uh, Tanaka and lock without the helmet. Um, so yeah, this is a really cool figure. Let's open him up and see what he's made of. Yeah, so it turns out Agent Lock is made of plastic. Who knew? So I am so excited about this figure. Like, so excited. Um, I can't wait to get Kelly and Fred and Tanaka. I am keeping my eyes out for those guys. If you guys see them, like, appear anywhere, if you guys see them appear in your Target, um, or if you guys see them appear like at Toys R Us or Walgreens or just anywhere like that, then please tell me because I really want to know um, where to find these guys. Um, I absolutely love the Halo figures and they're so cool. Uh, but yeah, with that out of the way, um, by the way, um, I did pick him up for 10% off because this week Target has these figures for 10% off. So if you want like Walking Dead, Assassin's Creed, Halo figures, Pop uh, Funk, Pop Vinyl Funk, uh, figures like those, then... Uh, Target has them for 10% off, which is awesome. So um, I'll go over the accessories first. He comes with two accessories, and both of them are um, new in their own way. So one of them is this pistol that you can kind of see on his thigh, and I think that this pistol is incredible. It looks to be um, painted new, um, and also a new sculpt, which uh, is kind of difficult to tell, but it looks a little bit... Uh, pudgier would that be the right word for it uh, than the other pistols if you look at the handle it looks to go like a bit further down and the, they hold the weapons a lot better now uh, than the other uh, whenever the weapons came out with like Halo 4 and Halo 3 and stuff they seem to hold them a lot better um, the other weapon is his battle rifle which is also a new sculpt you can kind of see the odd looking uh, scope thing at the top let me take this off so that you guys can hopefully get a better look. Um, so yeah, you can see that odd looking scope thing at the top that they have incorporated into the battle rifle for Halo 5. I think that it looks uh, absolutely fantastic. I love the new weapons and the new sculpts and it's great that they didn't just repack the Halo 4 weapons in because that would have been a bit cheesy even though they seem very similar. Um, so the articulation for this figure is a ball jointed head that rotates around 360 degrees, shoulders rotate around 360 degrees and move outward, elbows rotate down and around 360 degrees, and then the wrists rotate around 360 degrees, uh, both at the uh, inner and outer part of the wrist, if that makes sense, like closer to the hand and closer to the arm. They, it also moves uh, down like that and up like that. So yeah, pretty basic articulation for the uh, waist up on Halo figures. 
I'm going to take this battle rifle off while I uh, do the rest of this uh, articulation. So his waist rotates around 360 degrees. His legs will rotate around 360 degrees um, and then out a little bit. His knees rotate backwards and rotate around 360 degrees. His ankles rotate around 360 degrees and move back. And then his toes rotate around 360 degrees. So yeah, basic articulation for a halo figure, but a very cool halo figure. and. I assume that this is going to be just our first agent lock out of many. We already know that they're coming out with a second one, of course, a helmetless version, um, which I think is awesome. Hopefully we'll get helmetless characters of all of the uh, main characters, probably except for the Master Chief, because like we could get a helmetless Fred, Kelly, Linda, Tanaka, Buck, and Vale too, which would be great. Um, I'm going to set him up next to the Halo 4 Master Chief. Um, I'm sure that there's a bit of a difference between the Halo 4 and the Halo 5 Master Chief, but um, for the most part, they're about the same height, uh, and they will go good together. So Agent Lock, we kind of just look down. You can see his visor is blue, but it's kind of like really small, so you can't see it too well. His chest is like really puffed out, which looks cool. Uh, his shoulder pads attached. Uh, kind of small shoulder pads. You can't remove any of his armor. Uh, we go down here and you can see his waist is like very exposed. Um, maybe that'll play into the game. I don't know. Um, and then his legs have armor too. All around he looks like a great figure. So I'm really happy to get him. I can't wait to set him up with the rest of Team Osiris. Uh, we got him and Tanaka so far. We'll get Fred and Kelly to set up with John. It'll be a great, great look. It'll look so good to display and I'm really excited about this. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give Agent Locke a 5 out of 5 because he is a pretty much flawless figure. There's really nothing wrong with him. Um, he does look a bit funny, but that's because of the character design. If you look at him compared to the other Spartans um, and his lack of armor and like his waist area and whatnot, lower uh, belly, it, it looks a bit strange, but all in all, um, he's a really good figure and it stays true to the... Uh, in-game look of the figure. Um, but that's pretty much my review. Um, you also, if you get the Halo 5 figures, you will get these codes for a free rec pack. Um, apparently these come with like Mega Bloks figures too, and all this other stuff, which is really cool. So hopefully I will have a bunch of rec packs to start out the game with as long as I can get all these figures. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe for more content, and until next time, Bova7772 out.